in the name of Almighty Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. As Muhammad, peace be upon him, narrated, if anyone travels on a road in search of knowledge, Almighty Allah will cause him to travel on one of the roads of paradise. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Tarim Sud. Thank you very much for watching my videos and your wonderful support to make this channel a grand success. We are a family partner. Please subscribe and share our channel if you haven't done so far. We as a team can work together to convert challenges into opportunities and opportunities into success stories. These success stories can be monetized into value addition in the world by large. Thank you very much. Okay, today I'm going to discuss my lecture number 12, Oil and Gas Productions, Exploration, Production, Upstream Medicine, Defining a Petrochemical, Differentiated a Performance, Enabling Profit Optimization Process, lecture number 12. Okay, before my lecture, I used a read a Quranic verse, Kala Rabbi Shrali Sadri wa Yassarli Amri wa Halal Uqdatam Millisani Yafkahu Kali Allahumma Rabbi Zidin Ilma. Oh my Lord, open my chest and ease my task for me and I lose or not from my tongue that they may understand my saying. Okay. Allahumma Rabbi Zidin Ilma Oh Allah, advance me in my knowledge and true understanding. Thank you very much for your precious time. Oil and gas production. This is my plan. Oil and gas production. I have completed introductions, facilities and process introduction I have given. Reservoir and wellhead. We are still going on. And from tomorrow, I'm going to discuss upstream facilities. Then we will discuss uh, midstream facilities, refining, petrochemical utility systems. And, and in the last stage, we will discuss unconventional and conventional resources and environment effects. Okay, what is ultimate goal? Shaping the clean and sustainable global energy and to deliver more than 300 lectures next couple of years. Okay. Okay, today I'm going to discuss oil and gas production, artificial lifting operations, lecture number 12. Okay, from my next slide, I will give you a key takeaway points which I'm going to discuss today. Key takeaway points, lecture number 12, facilities and process onshore and offshore. Artificial lifting, rod, ESP, plunger pump and gas lift processing and well, well workovers and stimulation. From my next slide, I will give you a brief about artificial lifting and then segment wise, I will talk about rod pumps, ESP, electrical submerge pumps, plunger pump operation and gas lift. Okay, artificial lifting. Production wells are free flowing or lifted. Free flowing well has enough a downhole pressure to reach a suitable wellhead production pressure and maintain an acceptable well flow. If the formation's pressure is too low and water or gas injection cannot maintain a pressure or are not suitable, the well must be artificially lifted. For smaller wells, a 0.7 MPA Mega Pascal, that is 100 PSI. Wellhead pressure with the standing or column of liquid in the tubing is measured by a rule of thumb method to allow the well to flow. Larger well will be equipped with artificial lifting to increase production even at a much higher pressure. Some artificial lifting methods, which we are going to discuss today, rod pumps, ESP, gas lifting and plunger lifting. Okay, I will also demonstrate a gas lifting model which I have developed and implemented in gas lift operation in Qatar Petroleum Dukhan fields. Okay, now we are going to discuss our rod pumps. The rod pump, it's a like sucker or rod pumps, also called a donkey or beam pumps the most common artificial lift system used in land-based operation. Okay, motor drives a reciprocating beam 
connected to a polished rod passing into the tubing via stuffing box. The soaker rod continues down to the oil level and is connected to the plunger with the well. On each upward stroke, the plunger lifted a volume of oil pump and through the wellhead discharge. On the downward stroke, it sinks. It should sink and not be pushed. Allowing oil to flow through the wall, the motor speed and torque is controlled for efficiency and minimal wear with a pump of controlling POC. Use is limited to shallow reservoir down to a few hundred meters and flows up to the 40 liters or 10 gallons per stroke as for as a rod pump is concerned. Okay, now we are going to discuss ESP. Okay, ESP electrical submerged a pump. A donor pump inserted the whole pumping mechanism into the well. In modern installation, an electrical submerged pump ESP is inserted into the well. The whole assembly consisting of long and narrow motor, as you can see in the picture. Okay, and a multiphase pump such as a progressive cavity pump PCP or centrifugal pump hangs by the electrical cable with tension so uh, up to the tubing. Installation dotting 3.7 kilometer with a power up to 750 kilowatt having been installed so far. At this depth and power rating, medium voltage drives up to 5 kV must be used. ESP work is deep reservoirs but are sensitive to contaminate such as a sand and efficiency is sensitive to gas oil ratios, yes, also known as a GR. We are gas over 10% dramatically lowers the efficiency. A gas lift injects gas into the well flow. The donor reservoir pressure to the well head falls off due to the counter pressure from weight of the oil column in the tubing. 150 MPa reservoir pressure at 1600 meters will fall to zero in the well head if the specific gravity is 800 kg per meter square, 0.8 times water by injecting gas into the oil well. The specific gravity is lowered and as the well will start to flow, typically gas to inject it between the casing and tubing and releasing well on the gas lift. Okay, typical gas is injected between the casing and tubing and a release well on a gas lift mandrel is inserted into the tubing above the packer. The well will open at set pressure to inject lift gas into the tubing. Several mandrels with well set at different pressure range can be used to improve lifting and startup. Gas lift can be controlled for a single well to optimize a production and to reduce slugging effects where the gas droplets collect to form a large bubble that can upset production. Gas lift can also be optimized over several wells to use available gas in the most efficient way. So certainly I will demonstrate an excellent model which I have developed and implemented and optimized a gas lift injections and we have recovered 8 to 10,000 barrel every day. Okay, now I'm going to discuss my fourth stage or fourth level of gas lift. Uh, fourth level of uh, artificial lifting. Okay, plunger pump, plunger lifting. The plunger lift is normally used on low pressure gas wells with some condensate oil or water or high GR wells. In this case, the well flow conditions can be such that liquid starts to collect downhole and eventually blocks gas so that the well production stops. In this case, a plunger with an open or closed well can be inserted in the tubing. A plunger catcher at the top opens the valve and can hold the plunger while an other mechanism downhole closes the valve. 
The circle starts with the plunger falling into the well with its well open. Condensed gas and oil can pass through the plunger until it reaches its bottom. Okay, there the well is closed, no with volume of the oil condensed water on the top. Gas pressure starts to accumulate under the plunger and after a damp pushes a plunger upwards with the liquid on top, which eventually flows out of the wellhead discharge. As you can see from the diagram, when the plunger reaches the wellhead plunger catcher, the well opens and allows gas to flow freely from a sometimes while a new liquid collects at the bottom. After a present dam, the catcher leaves the plunger and the cycle repeats frequently. Okay, now uh, from the next slide, I'm going to discuss well workovers, intervention and stimulation. Okay, well workover intervention and stimulation process. After operating for some time, a well may be become a less productive or faulty due to residual buildup, sand erosion, corrosion or reservoir clogging. Well workover is a process of uh, performing a major maintenance as we have demonstrated here on an oil or gas well. This might include replacement of tubing, cleaning up or new completion, new preparations and various other maintenance works such as the installation of gas lift, mandrails, new packing, etc. Through tubing work cover operations is work performed with a special tool that do not require the time consuming full work cover procedure involving replacement of removal of tubing. Well maintenance without killing the well and performing a full work over is a time saving and often called a well intervention. Various operations that are performed by lowering instrument or tool on a wire into the well are also called the wire line operation. Okay, these are the major activities are performed or during well work hours, major maintenance, a tubing or gas lift mandrel installation process etc okay from the next slide i'm going to discuss a well stimulation process okay now i'm going to discuss a reservoir stimulation process that's very very important okay work the reservoir such as a chemical injections acid treatment heating extra is known as reservoir stimulation okay Stimulation serves to correct a various form of structure damage and improve flow. Damage is generic terms for accumulation of particles and fluids that block fractures and pores and limit reservoir permeability. Okay. First, we'll discuss acid treatment, then we'll talk about hydraulic and explosive fracturing. Okay, acid treatment. Such as hydrochloric acid. HCl are used to open up calcareous reservoir and to treat accumulation of calcium carbonates in the reservoir structures around the well. Several hundred liters of acid, a typical 15% solution, 15% dilute solution mean 85% water and 15% acid are pumped into the well under a pressure to increase permeability of formation. When the pressure is high enough to open the fractures, the process is called fracture acidizing. If the pressure is lower, it is called matrix acidizing. Okay. Now we'll discuss hydraulic fracturing. is an operation in which a specially Blended a liquid is a pumped down a well and into the formation under pressure high enough to cause the formation to crack open and forming passages through which oil can flow into the well before bore. Sand grains, aluminium pellets, walnut shells, glass beads, or similar materials propping agent are carried in suspension by the fluid into the fractures. When the pressure is released at the surface, 
the fractures are partially closed on the propping agent leaving the channels for oil to flow through to the well. The fracture channel may be up to 100 meters long. Hydraulic fracture is an essential. A channel may be up to 100 meters long. Hydraulic fracturing is an essential technology for unconventional shale gas and liquid extraction. Explosions number three, explosion fracturing, are used explosive to fracture a formation at the moment of detonations. The explosion furnishes a source of high pressure gas to force fluid into formation. The rubber prevents the fracture healing and making the use of propping agent unnecessary. Damage removal refer to other forms of removing formation, damage such as flushing out of drill fluids. Okay. This was my last slide on reserve stimulation. On my next slide, we will talk about little about the coils and then we will wind up my lecture today. Let's okay, now I'm going to discuss a coil a tubing. Flexible coil tubing can be wound around a large diameter. Drum and inserted or removal such quick than a tubing installation from rigid a pipe segments. Well, work over equipment, including a coiled a tubing, is often mounted on well work over reeds. Thank you very much. It was my last slide. Sorry for that. These are all my three stars. They all the time supporting me when I'm publishing my lecture. Thank you very much. Thank you. Conclusion. This is my conclusion slide. So artificial lifting. Uh, rod pump, gas lift, ESP, and plunger pump, and well worker overs. Today we have discussed all six topic. Okay, from my next lecture we are going to. Discuss uh, upstream oil and gas processing facilities. Thank you very much for your patience. Okay, these are few references, Qatar Petroleum, Doha Qatar, Oil and Gas Development Corporations, OGDC Pakistan, World Energy Outlook, US Geological Survey, US Department of Energy, Schlumberger's Oil Fields, International Energy Agency, IEA, Wikipedia, Oklahoma State, Margin Well Commission, State Oil, North Sea, Story of Oil in Pennsylvania, Air Liquid Gas, Encyclopedia, Natural Gas from Well to Burner Pit. Okay, please do not hesitate. Together, everyone achieve more. Please send me your feedback and comments. t.masood.dr at both.edu. Thank you very much. Please stay at home, stay safe, inspired, and blessed. Thank you very much again.